wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. Folks, it's been a while, I'll grant you. Apologies, first off. Uh, it's just been the festive season, an unfortunate work roster, and uh, the whole fam has come down with on and off colds, you know, COVID free. But uh, yeah, it's just been hard to uh, find the time, folks. But uh, here we are, we're back. It's a new year, fresh start, and uh, we're revisiting one of my old favourites. So, Anna, back. Let's start, as we mean to go on, with Wild Boar of the Sea. Now, this deck has been sitting in my deck builder since the last time I uh, played this, and it's been a fair few months. And as I came to revisit it, hey presto, we had seven extra provisions available through the various... Uh, Provision changes and whatnot, so a bit of power creep, uh, whatnot, uh, whatever, folks. Point is, it's better than ever. So, folks, the idea with this one is, for our big finisher, is to play Cyana to double deploy the Wild Boar of the Sea ability with Dagger 2 Blades on the board for just an immense amount of points there, folks. We got Covenant of Steel to protect everything as well. So, we're playing Ursine Ritual. Uh, we do a lot of thinning, folks. Let's go through the thinning. We got the Ceres on the melee row with the Shield Maidens. It may... may scare your opponent into thinking a heat wave or, you know, a squirrel, whatnot, uh, fearing the old uh, lippy days, but there's no lippy here, folks. Um, we've also got Raiding Fleet which will pull one of your longships. We got the two Uncrate longships and the two Dimmum Light longships. So these are great little cards and can also help set up Bloodthirst and damaged units for the Wild Boar of the Sea finisher. But they will tempt out removal as well. We got uh, Jenga Fret while we're here. Bloodthirst one, lock an enemy unit. Great little card. Uh, Aniromancy, get what you need. Heat wave, just a great removal push. Uh, so Griff is right. This can bring back, say, your Covenant of Steel, even your uh, Dagger Two Blades, perhaps, or Vildkal, the champ of Svalblad. Three of your leader charges go into this bad boy, so you can, you know, bring back the 12 pointer with your Sigdriff is right, perhaps. So one. Yeah, three leader charges are for Vildkarl. One is for the spawned Shield Maiden. The other one just sink into some armor or something. God, Ash. Um, two Froze Blessings bring back perhaps your, your long ships. You know what I'm saying? We got one Gunning Slash for a little bit of removal piece. Uh, more Thinning. Two Scalds and two Skirmishes. Beautiful little combo piece there. And one Pella just for a bit of purification. Have I missed anything here, folks? I don't think so. Folks, it's all killer, no filler here. So uh, enough faffing from me. Let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. Bit of enslave action, huh? Okay. Let's teach these southern savages a thing or two about a thing or two, folks. So what are we dealing with in Slave 6? Okay. Okay, uh, I'll get rid of that and that. Okay, two easy mulligans. You'll love to see that, folks. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's see what uh, this fella might have in store for us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. It's a big moment. Big seminal moment. Okay, 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 not a problem, fella, not a problem. So, being in Slave 6, we can probably expect some assassination shenanigans, perhaps even a bit of coded weapons action. So, uh, look, let's go ahead and do this beautiful thing. Really send this guy a message. We're here to play. Okay. Uh, okay, we can do some more just beautiful thinning with the Raiding Fleet. 
And Daenermancy. Uh, Hell. Could even a Neuromancy for Karathi Heatwave if if the occasion calls for it, folks. Okay, playing it a little slow, but he's got a hell of an engine piece online. Okay, he's taking his time to decide. Madra. You know, that heat wave is looking rather tempting. On a lowly four provision card, a fire scorpion at that, but it's a 14 point heat wave, folks. I don't think you can argue with it. Let's go for it, folks. Let's uh, get this guy sweating. Sweating in his breeches. <laughs> Please, go ahead. So, he puts down another in, uh, unit piece. I want to go ahead and uh, play the raiding fleet. Do that bit of extra thinning. With the bleedage. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that, and we can immediately take care of that shield there, folks. Beautiful. Now, in time, this uh, this bleedage should take care of the hefty hilge, unless he uh, boosts it up, of course. <laughs> pesky business. Pesky, pesky, pesky business. Hmm. All right, let's let's try the uh, the long ship there, the on crate long ship that is, not the uh, the dim on light. Okay, okay, well played, well played. Hmm. Yeah, nothing to res, nothing really worth purifying at this stage. Yes. Could he take it in one, I wonder? He'll take, take two from the bleed, essentially. He could use leader, I suppose. I kind of want to guarantee last say, folks. Why don't we go for the, go for the Pella? Go for the Pella. We, we got the points to spare, as they say in the trade. You know, if need be, I'm willing to commit the field, Carl. We could always bring it back with the Sea Griffins right, you know, for a 12-point play. But let's see what this fella's going to do here. Bit of feeling action. Okay. Onward, onward. Sure. Hmm. Dastardly dudes. <laughs> well played, fella. Oh, and leader. Okay, okay. It does keep him ahead, only just... Like I say, let's go for that beautiful build Carl action. And he's going to help us out with those uh, those long ships there. Now, in terms of these leader charges remaining, we'll save them. We'll save them for now, but we can just sink these into, you know, some armor or some such. Let's see what this fella decides to do. Now, he's got the one bleedage. And he's, he's committed leader to the piece. Hmm... What else you got, fella? Bribery action. Okay. Now, I don't really want to commit any of this stuff. Certainly not, certainly not. And we got nothing to res, folks. So I think we will be taking the pass here. He's forced our hand a little bit. Now... That won't quite do it there, fella. Lucky we're taking the pass anyway. He's going to have to go another cart down, folks. You'll love to see it. Little did he know that we were going to take a pass in any case. Now, we got some good stuff out of him, no doubt. Bit of minnow action. Hmm... Okay, okay. Well played, well played. Sure, sure. Okay, so we know he gets back the, yeah, the crude grass there. 
Now, I dare say we'll see a dry pass, but stranger things have happened, folks. We know this. So let's see. Hmm. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Okay, okay. Uh, so, in terms of our end game push, we're missing Covenant of Steel and the Cheyenne here. So. Yeah, I guess we'll just go for a blessing here, folks, on one of the Shield Maidens there. Now, do we sink a couple of leader charges? I feel that we do here, folks. Yeah, sensation ability. Alright, so we're a card up. We've still got that one leader charge. And now we just need to draw well. We haven't got any of our scouts or skirmishes, unfortunately, at this stage. Yeah, okay. Um. Nice. Yes. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Well. Yeah, we can, uh, we can an Eromancy for the Covenant of Steel. And with the Scouts, we just see what we draw, you know what I'm saying, folks? So, yeah, let's, let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay. Uh... In this case, I'm going to dump the other one there. Very nice indeed. And we can simply an Eromancy for... Heck, I suppose an Uncrate Longship, I suppose. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Hmm. That's a little bit pesky business. Hmm. Still, if he utilizes the Master of Puppets, he's given us 12 points in the piece. You know what I'm saying, folks? Now, do we want to put the Covenant of Steel? Being in Slave 6, I don't think this fella can fit in the Yennefer's Invocation pesky business. Um, hmm. No, we're just, we're just going to play it slow here, folks. Play it slow, play it slow. We can expect the coup de grace on the Joaquin, no doubt. Yeah, we just play it slow. Play it slow. Slow and steady, folks. But, uh, this battle is far from won. Okay. That's actually pretty good. For him, I should say. We could always lock it. Mm-hmm. I mean, could he purify the Covenant of Steel, I wonder? If he kills it, that's fine. We bring it back with a Sidrifa's right. But, uh... Yep. Let's just go easy here, folks. Now, he could assassinate. He could have some assassination, I know. I know there's an argument to have played the Covenant of Steel to protect this stuff here, but like I say, I want to preserve this stuff for just as long as possible. The combo must be protected at all, at all costs, at all stages of the game. I think that's probably worth a lock, folks. What do you say? Now, if we play Jenga Fret here, we at least protect the long ship from assassination, but I dare say if he had it, he might have played it first, although he might want to get the extra value from the Fire Scorpion there. So, let's go ahead and do just that. Um, this is annoying, because that'll get activated. Oh, no, wait. No. The double wild boar of the sea should uh, take care of that before any sort of transformation. Fur card, sure. 
hell could this be? Okay, there's the coup de grace. On the Wakim, no doubt. Ooh. Damnation. Damnation. Yeah. Should have seen it coming. Should have seen it coming, folks. Hmm. All right, again, we're just going to preserve things for just as long as possible here, folks. I'll put this on the ranged. Being Nilfgaard, they can play a few spies here and there, as we've seen. And uh, I'd rather not get the uh, the melee row to, uh, to full up there. You know what I'm saying, folks? So, I'm going to hold it there. So he's going to get his leader back. That pesky and slave six. Hmm, look next, we got no choice. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to make a covenant of steel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Look, as I say folks, we got no choice here. Got no choice. Okay. Let's see what answers he could have. If it can take care of the Covenant of Steel. Hmm. It could probably take care of the Cyana or the Dagger 2 Blades. Yep, and then he steals it. Okay. Does he steal? There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, goes ahead and utilises the Stefan Skellen. Hmm, not a problem. Well, folks, do we go the Cyana or do we do go the Dagger 2 Blades? We can immediately get the Dagger up to 5. What's more... What's more critical and what's more vulnerable, folks? It's got two cards remaining. We can get this up to 5. Protects it from Tawny Joust. It protects it from assassination if I play it in, in these here parts. Look, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. And, uh, yeah, we'll get that up there. Sensational. And, uh, we'll see what uh, what comes of it, folks. Still got that one leader charge. I tell you, it'd be great to get this, uh, Ooh, lucky I didn't play the Cyana there, Farge. Well, look at this. He's going to hit the Cyana to two. He's got one card left. What could it be? Uh, could it be treason, perhaps? In which case, there's no safe, no safe zone for it. Um... Mm hmm We do that. Let's see what he's got. He can't take care of both of these cards. Okay, bear that in mind. And either one is rather deadly with the Wild Boar of the Sea action. So let's see what you got, fella. Notorious. Okay. Both should survive the piece here. Can you believe it? Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Okay. You're gonna utilize it just helps out my dagger, mate. And no point using that there, mate. Folks, take a look at this. Did it did did it did Mario level bows! the final one on the uh, Duchess Informant. You've got no place here. And it's as easy as that, folks. You'll love to see that. Folks, let's bloody well do it again. Come on. Bit of tactical decision, huh? Bit of a Nilfgaard double. Let's see how we fare again, folks. They keep coming back for more. Going first this time, right off the bat. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh, 
Hmm, could be... Could be mill. I don't care for the millage, folks. Yes. Might get rid of a scald in that case. Let's see. Now, if we detect even an inkling of the millage, we need to uh, reevaluate everything we thought we knew about this match. Because we got a lot of thinning. Conditional thinning. Ceres is rather versatile in that sense. And there it is, folks. Okay, okay, okay. Not a problem, fella. Hmm. Okay. Well, being mill, I think we need to 2-0 this fella. And send him running scared. In the hopes that uh, we may spare another winter from facing such dastardly deeds. Okay, Atorius, straight off to the Shadow Realm with you. Thank you. Hmm. Now, being mill, there's not a whole lot worth locking, in my experience. So we're going to go ahead and Jenga fret this fella to Kingdom Come. Alright, so what else can we expect from this fella? Vilgefortz? Uh, t uh, Tibor? Tibor Egebracht? Renew? Matter? You know the score, folks. You know how it goes. Not a problem, son. Not a problem. All right. Well, we play a humble a melee row. Hey, my scout. What do you say to that, fella? That's a nice little three-point play. Oh, and he takes the pass. Too much to handle, fella, huh? Hmm. Okay. Now, look, we got options. We could still set us on the melee row for massive tempo, but it does do quite a bit of thinning, folks. As does the raiding fleet. So we'll send you off from whence you came. As well as the Hamo Scout. Hmm, a Neuromancy is good. But it is a thinning tool as well, folks. Hmm, now he's barely thinned us as it is. Do we just take our chances and go straight into a, yep, yeah, into a round three situation? I know it's against conventional wisdom. Let's give this fella a fighting chance, shall we? Come on, sir. I'm going to make you mano in mano round three. You can thank your lucky stars. We follow left. Oh, come on, man. That is pesky business. And he did take RC Drifters right as well. Yes. Time to get our hands you know, perhaps I should have gone for that too, though. I knew it. I knew I should have. But uh, let's let's see how we fare, folks. Makes it a more interesting match. You know what I'm saying? And the Tibor. Okay. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Okay, this guy's here to play. Hmm. All right, well, that Tibor is no doubt going to be the, uh, the target for a bit of renew action. So, look. We got four mulligans here. Let's see here. What are we what are we really missing? Not a hell of a lot. Yeah. Well look, we're gonna get rid of the Aniromancy. We're gonna get rid of that. These can be pretty good. Pella. I don't see that being great, nor that. I think this is just about as good as we could hope. These are thinning tools, that's useless. These are useless too. <laughs> Go right ahead, pal. Now, if he was to coup de grace the Cantarella, oops, we'll settle down there. Is any of the, oh, a Neuromancy would hurt a little, I suppose. Now, we could use a leader charge on that Cantarella. We could well do. Now, what are we, uh, what are we, uh, bestowing blessings upon? The great ship, the, the, the long ships, I suppose. What do you say? We get those bad boys into the fry. I don't suspect coup de grace. I don't suspect it. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Apart from an aeromancy, he can take whatever he wants out of this stuff.
So we're, we're going to play it slow, folks. All we're missing for the combo push is the... Yeah. Is the... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Here's the... Come on, Briefs. Get your head in the game, son. The Covenant of Steel. Now, of course, it's not vital to the combo, but it does provide just some beautiful protection. So we've got to be aware of this... Vilgefortz fell. And that's as easy as that, obviously, too much to handle. We can't leave it there, folks. Can't leave it there. And I suppose, I suppose. Can't leave it there, folks. Let's do it but one more time, please. Let's go. Jackpot styles, huh? Okay, they can have a big old finisher in there. The old King of Beggars. And the old Savalo in his fright now, I dare say. Alright, let's get rid of that. Uh, hmm. Perhaps a touch too many ships. Hmm. Okay. Let's hold the line there, folks. Let's hold the line. All right, let's open with a humble, uncrate longship. What do you say, folks? Well, I think that's a hell of an opening play, don't you? All right, fella, what you got? So the purification uh, could be good against bounties, I suppose. All right, let's put another one out. Very nice indeed. Now we can a Neeromancy for that beautiful Saras thinning tempo play. And then we got a Scald and a Skirmisher. You'll love to see that. Um, I don't want to play the other Scald unless we have the other Skirmisher firmly in hand. So, <clears throat> let's uh, let's bring out Ceres and her fair maidens. Very nice indeed. One leader charge. As prescribed in those holiest of scriptures, folks. Now this fella seems to be playing it a little slow. That's okay. Hmm. So we we scowled on the skirmish next. Depending what we draw, that may just be the end of our turn here. Okay, a bit of thinning of his own. Very nice indeed. Now he might just take a sneaky pass here, but let's take a look. Let's see what we get. Yeah, see. Not really what I'm wanting to be seeing at this stage. But we got a healthy lead here, folks. A healthy lead. Come on, sir. Unfortunate name. Raperin. Oh, well. And a trapper to boot. I'm seeing red flags. Let's vamoose. Come on, let's do it again, please. Lockdown. I believe this is going to be Clog Colgram styles, folks. That's what I'm led to believe. So, let's try to keep whatever we can that we're going to want in later subsequent rounds here. Yes. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Well... Let's do some beautiful thinning. Maybe uh, scare this fella off just a tad. One later charge. Sensation ability. Now, do we want to use these later charges before we uh, get locked out? Fucks. Three on the veiled Carl and one just as a throwaway. You know what I'm saying, fucks? I think that might be for the best. Yes, indeed. All right, let's go for the scout. More thinning. And we have a skirmisher firmly in hand. Very nice indeed. Alrighty. Mm. Thin down to 12. Now he's gonna clog us, the bastard. Kill, 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 kill. Mm. I don't care for what I'm showing you, folks. Let's. Yeah, we'll use Kingdom of the Crystal Skull there, I feel. Very nice indeed. Now, let's try to get a bit of Bloodthirst 2, shall we, folks, for that beautiful 6 damage. Yes. Yeah, he's doing some pretty nice thinning of his own. Come for you. Not even come on. 
Yes, indeed. Mm. Nothing worth damaging for sex at this stage. Still, got some decent bloodthirst up our sleeve here, Fudge. Okay, okay, now we could lock that or simply kill it. I think we'll go ahead and do the, just that. And yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. We won't utilise this one, save it from a bit of coded weapons action. And if he wants to sink a coded weapons in this weaker one, well, by all means be my guest, fella. Okay, okay. All right, it is time for Vildkarl to enter the fray. Uh, hmm. I mean, this final leader charge is worth six at the top end if we sink it into armor, and that's worth six as well if he ends up blocking it, so... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Well, so we may as well. You can, you can have your, uh, you can have your, uh, your fellas, your watsus, your operatives, if you will. Now, do we want to go for that duo situation? Now, he did give us a scald and a skirmisher on the top deck, if I'm not mistaken. A match made in heaven. Ah, there they are. Uh, I mean, these do help us thin. Uh, oh, if I ditch Slyanna, am I ever going to see you again? But without Wild Boar of the Sea, you're not doing a whole lot for me. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, folks, let's, uh, let's try to thin out and do a bit of bleeding to boot, shall we, folks? Yes, indeed. Now we can a Neuromancy for the raiding fleet here, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it? It's going to get us an on, on great long ship. We can even play the Sigdriffers right for 12 on the Champion of Spell Blight. Yeah, let's bleed this well. Okay, you probably put back a, yeah... Ceres? Okay, okay. Interesting. Just going to continue to bleed here, buddy. Now look at this, he's barely clogged us. We've thinned rather well. And they scowled. Don't know what we're doing with you, sir. Mm -hmm. On the Undrake Longship. Okay, well, we're going to draw it back with the scowl, but then what do we discard? Christ. All right, we're going all out here, folks. We're going all out. Come on, what answers you got, sir? Now, he does have six points up his sleeve with his lockdown leader ability. Hmm, it's a tough matchup. Tough matchup. Okay, what do we got? Yes, pretty on stars. Hmm. Okay. Can you believe it? I'm taking the bar. We got Fion out, so we're not going to need the Pella. Now, these Uncrate Longships can really help us out in a pinch. Unless, and I've seen it, Colgrim is pulled through Geralt Quen. Because it comes out with a shield. That's pesky business. Unless we can have two of those bad boys. What's better than a dead noble? Okay, yeah. Oh, and leader, really? Oh yeah, had to, had to, okay. Okay, he's got the carryover ability in the Gorfar Gavade. Hmm. Let's see how we fare here, folks. Let's see how we fare. Oh yes, we get that back. Very nice and good. There we go, the match made in heaven yet again. Now what are we missing here, folks? Well, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yes. But what? Uh, 
Oh, I don't know what to ditch here, man. Can we guarantee the bloodthirst one? It's a question of our times. Uh, okay, fight. The holy scriptures has done this for us. Oh, damn it. I'm going to draw one of those. I should have seen it coming. Oh, hang on. Okay. Well, still, still kind of crappy. All right. I'm going to put this down quick smart. Okay, you might have an answer to it. But uh, we want to get this uncrate longship down. Okay. Okay. Coming for you. That's fine. That's absolutely fine, fella. It does, <coughs> does hurt our Jenga fret just a tad. But we can Nero for the other one to protect against the potential uh, potential Geralt coin action. But even all that aside, this fella might just have enough points to take care of business anyhow. You know what I'm trying to ask? Do we dag a two blades? I just don't know what to do here, folks. No, <clears throat> let's get this other long ship down, folks. Let's do it. Let's do it. Protect against that coin action. Come on, Sean. What you got? But uh, as I say, this fella just goes like points you. to boot. Now that's pretty good. He's given us another one of those bad boys. Let's get the dagger two blades down. Get a bit of value out of that. You know what I'm saying, folks? And then we scowled on the skirmisher and uh, draw another covenant of steel. Jenga fret. Okay, that's going to die immediately. Okay, and we're getting two points. Sensational. Okay, yeah, still doing very well. Okay, yeah, we get another one of those. That comes down. Very nice indeed. We're two cards each, and we're two points down in the push. And here it is, as I suspected. Okay, goes one of those. Well played, son. Well played. Yes. I think this fella might just have us, just quietly. This is only worth a seven. What's your final card, son? I think we might have it quite comfortably. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Only just. Only just. And it's as easy as that, folks. As easy as that. Now, we didn't quite pop off the combo here. Yes. Dare we try it again, fags? Let's do it. Bit of double cross action in the piece, huh? Okay. Let's see how we fare against these savages. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we'll get rid of that and, uh, uh, oh no, it's risky business, but we'll get rid of that for now. Oh, sensational, sensational ability, folks. Hmm, okay. So we can, uh, we can see us. We can only arrive for a bit of uh, raiding fleet action for even more tempo and thinning. And we've got, uh... Doth mine eyes deceive me? We got a scald and a skirmisher to boot. Sensational. Oh. One of these boys. Okay, interesting choice of leader ability, I suppose. <sighs> Mill. Things were looking so promising. Let's open with one of those boys. Try to perhaps set up a bit of bloodthirst to action, I suppose. Christ. I mean, is it, is it now? I guess so. Okay. I'm going to go Saris on the ranged row, can you believe it? 
All right, well, we've set up that bloodthirst too. Let's see what else you got, fella. I need to see some more evidence that this is milk. Hmm. Yeah, that sort of plays into the millage, doesn't it, Farge? You forget your sorrows. Yes. Hmm. Right, I'm going to use one litre charge on the Queen's Guard there. Sensational. Ah, uh, let's go for the yeah, let's go for the six damage there. You love to see that. So we want to retain three charges. Okay, it's mill. It's mill. We knew it. We knew it. So we don't want to be thinning if we can help it, Farge. So we'll just play Humble Skull on the melee row. And we'll use one more leader charge on that Queen's Guard there. Very nice indeed. So the other three are retained for the champion of Svalblood. If it's not milled, of course. If it is... Uh, we just continue to sink them into these Queen's Guards. Versatile. Versatile plays. Sure, sure. Let's see what else you get out of us. Time to get our hands. Yeah. Unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable scenes. Let's not get in the way of the axe. Okay, we'll leave it there. He's still got uh Wow, okay. That would be... Uh, yeah, good job, pal. Still, you got my wild boar out of me. Not a fan of that. No, sir. Mm, okay, we're putting up a decent fight here, folks. What were you hoping to pull with that? Tibor? No, Tibor was in here. Oh, well, thanks, pal. That'll do. Hmm. Guess we can get away with this skirmish, eh? You know what I'm saying, folks? We're still ahead, still ahead. What else to do? What else can we expect? Now, I've got to be careful of the old double cross action. You know, on the Cyano or the Aneromancy. That could hurt. Okay, he's deciding something. Blightmaker action. Sure. <sighs> Alright, I know it's thinning, but we're going to go ahead and use that Aneromancy on the Heatwave onto the Dibble. So it can't be renewed, you know what I'm saying, Parks? And for now, you can't copy the the Watsy. Okay, there's the renew. Uh-huh, okay, okay, sure. All right, well, we can get away with the Hamo Scout there. Sensational. Okay, we're still retaining those three leader charges. For the champ of foul blood, if it survives the boat. Okay, well there it is. We may as well use them up, I suppose. Um, and yeah, we may as well add the cyanide to the mix here, and all our leader chargers. Can you believe it? Now he's still got his leader. Granted. Okay. I uh, guess he'll go for, yeah, that. Which, yeah, it kind of hurts my dim on light longship. Now, we can go for the Cyana on the double purify. Does that help us? Not really. But we may as well. Get rid of these doom tags. Can you believe it? Okay, okay, we're still leaking ahead. Both leaders out of play. You will not regret this, Mm-hmm. Here's our chance. Well, we can take it with the dagger. And uh, we'll give each of us a point. What do you say? 
It's absolutely generous. All right, well, we win on even. We don't have a whole lot left to play with. Dear, oh dear. I guess we've got to go for that 2-0, -oh, folks. Go for that 2-0 -oh situation. Get rid of that. Bah. Oh, mate. All right. We're going for the 2-0. -oh. It's our only chance here, folks. It's our only shot. There's a real shot in the dark. Go for that one. That'll do. What else could he have, this fella? He's played the Renew, the Tibble. His bell. Well, we can lock it. So we can lock it. For what? Although... Yeah, I guess we lock it. And then we go raiding fleet for the uh, the longship. But uh, if he manages to win the... Uh-oh, don't take my longship out. It's a 50-50. Of course he gets it. Of course he does. Well, take a bleed then, Val. Is he going to do it? If he can take it, he wins the bloody match. We did it. We did it, folks. And, folks, we're going to leave it there. I know we didn't get the combo off, but it's getting very late here, folks. And we've had a great old time, didn't we? Teach some millage, some lessons, and we did have that beautiful first match where we pulled off the combo to perfection. So, folks, we're going to leave it there. Thanks for watching as always. It's great to be back in the saddle. And uh, I'll see you in the comments, folks. Cheers.